So now that we've got the confirmations down pat, hopefully, and we can start talking about acts and equatorial, let's talk about where groups prefer to be. Now, our larger groups are gonna to prefer to be equatorial. Our smaller groups, if they're having to make a choice, will probably be forced into the axial position, but the question is why. So in the board behind me, I've got this drawing where we've got a CH3 group sitting in axial position relative to the ring. Now, ring flipping is accessible at room temperature, so it is possible for this ring to take the CH3 and switch it towards the equatorial position. But why would it want to do that? And to do that, sorry to do this to you, but we're gonna to have to go back to the little toy model here. So we've got our CH3 group, and our CH3 group actually occupies space. It has three hydrogens sitting across it. So sitting here in the axial position, I've got two axial hydrogens. Now, CH3 group, if it's turned the right way, these two hydrogens will begin to interact with these two hydrogens, and they'll force each other away. Now you could say, well, it could turn and sit between the two, and that's true, but here's another issue. We do get some degree of entropy if this can rotate. So by putting the hydrogen here, it's basically fixing the ring. So either we're gonna pay a penalty because they're close to the hydrogens by steric effects, or we're gonna pay an entropy effect by the fact that this can't rotate. So what can we do? Well, we can go through our different transition states and we can flip the ring. And in flipping the ring, we're gonna take our CH3 group and we're gonna make it an equatorial bond instead of an axial bond. So by ring flipping alone, can make this CH3 and we can make this H. Now, if we look along the equatorial bond, and I'll tell you what, we'll draw the Newman projection based along this bond. Even though the CH3 and the H are near each other, they are gauche relative, one, gauche relative to one another. So because of this, we're not gonna see nearly the energy penalty we see when we start putting in the, the axial position. So in general, what we wanna see is we wanna put our, bulk, our bulkier groups along the equatorial positions. The reason for this is that there is a lot of strain sitting above that ring above and below. Again, if we pop these back into the respective positions, all these axial atoms are close to each other, so the smaller ones need to be on top. If we put a methyl group up here, it's gonna interfere with the other axial atoms. So if we flip our conformation, and we go put it equatorial, even though we're still gonna have this group relative to this group at 60 degrees, that ghost conformation helps reduce the energy quite a bit.